Many researchers love to use data from the Likert scale with descriptive statistics. Although, it may be tempting to say, but interpreting data using Likert scale is very easy. You just have to add the answer of your respondents. For example, 5 or strongly agree, plus 4 or agree, and plus to 3, moderately agree, equals to 12. Then, divide into number of responses, 1, 2, 3. 12 divide 3 equals 4, or agree. Therefore, 4 is the overall average or total average of the respondent's answer to the given statement. Remember, there are many positions of analysis that you have to consider when doing your investigation of research questions in order to identify the appropriate method for your study. Likert scales vary in the number of points on the scale. The five-point scale that is used here is the most common, but some Likert scales have four points where the not sure category is taken out or should not be included or known as indecisive category. Some even have scales up to seven points. Let us have a concrete example for the computation of scales up to five points. Let us say that you are conducting a descriptive study entitled Learners Adjustment Skills in New Normal Learning Setup in K-12 Education. Primarily, your main objective is to evaluate the adjustment skills of the learners. Let us say you constructed 20 statements to describe your sub-variables and their adjustment skills. So, let us assume that your first statement is, I am comfortable attending online classes. So, all the statements written in the survey questionnaire will be evaluated from 5 to 1 based on the feelings, thoughts, and experiences of the respondents. The results will be computed to determine the mean of category which may fall within the given range of 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 and will be interpreted based on the range and response given. So let us do it in detail. In this concrete example, we will use 5-point Likert scale. For the scale, let us write 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 as the lowest point in the scale. To compute the range, let us subtract the lowest point scale into the highest point scale. So it will become 5 minus 1 equals to 4 and divide into the total point scale which is 5. Then the answer is 0 0.5. 80. So, from the lowest point scale, which is 1, you have to add 0 0.80. Then, the range for the first scale is 1 to 1.80. And for the range in the second scale, you have to add 0.80 to 1.80. So, it will become... 1.81 to 2.60 and for the third scale you have to add 0 0.80 to 2.60 so it will become 2.61 to 3.40 and for the fourth scale you have to add 0 0.80 to 3.40 so it will become 3.41 to 
And for the last scale, which is the highest point scale of 5, you have to add 0 0.80 to 4.20. So it will become 4.21 to 5. Alright. Again, the range of scale 1 is 1 to 1.80 and 1.81 to 2.60 for scale number 2 and 2.61 to 3.40 for the scale 3 and 3.41 to 4.20 for scale 4 and 4.21 to 5 for the highest point scale. And for the possible responses to each statement to your survey questionnaire, you may use, of course, uh, strongly agree for the highest point scale. Let us write it. Agree. Moderately agree. Disagree. And strongly disagree. And for the verbal interpretation, since you are evaluating learners' adjustment skills, you may use very high, high, moderately high, low, and very low. So that's it. We successfully quantified learners' responses to the survey questionnaire with corresponding verbal interpretation using 5-point Likert scale. So congratulations and happy writing everyone!